My name is Jason Lake. I work for Dexter Construction and Dexter Mining. We're into heavy civil construction and mining in uh, different provinces in Canada. We do a lot of different types of training with CAT simulators. We train new operators uh, going over basic controls, good for familiarization, so they actually know exactly where whatever rock or switch every control in that machine is before they actually get in it. It's good to have someone so we can teach them the controls of the machine before they actually get in the machine, make sure they can start and stop the machine safely, proper braking, and before we actually put them on the equipment. We may have potential a new hire that had supposedly 20 years of experience and we can try them out on the simulators and see if they've actually had that experience or if they've never run it before. There's always a potential of when you have a new operator that there could be something that happens. So when you have the opportunity with the simulator and review these items and show them the potential hazards that could happen, it makes it a really great learning tool to have uh, to help prevent these accidents. Sometimes you have uh, operators that run for years that was never shown maybe a proper way of uh, digging a trench or doing slot dozing with a track type tractor. A lot of individuals, they always think they can just, you're just pushing dirt. There's, there's no science to it. A lot of operators will start back at the farthest point and start pushing material. It's always losing half a bit over the side of their blade. The simple thing that the CAT simulator would show is slot dozing. You actually create your slot at the start. So you have a channel for your material to get pushed through and then you work your way back and it just makes it a lot more efficient for your operator to show them simple techniques like that. Everybody assumes the mechanic can jump in the piece of equipment and, and go to work with it, when ultimately, usually, they're either just starting it up, transporting it in, in and out of the bay, or moving it to a different location and shutting it down, um, or in an excavator, maybe adjusting it while they're changing the bucket or something on it. These come in handy because you're not making an operator out of the mechanic, but you're teaching them some basic uh, transporting. Instead of traveling it with a boom and stick way up in the air, it could get in power lines. You can show them the correct way of doing that with the simulators. If a person even did a thousand evaluations and training, working with a thousand different operators, that's a lot of equipment, uh, hourly rates, fuel costs, and that's a big thing anywhere in the world nowadays. And with the simulator, that really benefits and utilizes the simulator because you're not tying up the equipment. Uh, you just need the operator and his time, um, and you're not wasting that fuel, and you're more uh, environmentally friendly. There's three major things. is safety, uh, maintenance on the equipment, and productivity with the equipment. Uh, you can show a lot of safety points with the simulators, maintenance, the CAT simulators have a great uh, understanding of things you have to look for in the equipment. With the doing a pre-op inspection, if, if you can click on the picture and if you're not sure of what that is, they actually have up in their left right hand column of what that item is or you can click the words and it will show it on the picture so you can cover your maintenance area. And as far as productivity, you can set up scenarios and repeat it and really work with that operator to make them more productive for your company.